Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to go over the Nova Open previews and see if I was right about anything in my predictions video. That's right, Nova Open has dropped and Games Workshop have shown us a lot of lovely new stuff. A lot of stuff. So we're going to jump in straight away and we're going to kick off with some old world because, you know, it's old world and it's really anticipated. So we've got the old world here and this is it. We are getting this. This is it. This is all they've shown. It is basically the, it's like the lady, like the wizardy model, I believe. There, There's... Some of the older sculpts, she is really nice, it's a beautiful sculpt, I really love the flowers. Um, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's a beautiful model, and it's definitely a nice update from, from these old uh, duchess, the uh, grail damsels. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, uh, I like it. Uh, a little bit disappointed that this is the only thing they've shown for the old world. Uh, it would have been nice for a little bit more. This is the last two previews now where they've only shown one model. And the last preview, we basically got shown a resin um, Grail Knight banner bearer, herald type guy. And now we're getting this. Um, still nothing for the Tomb Kings, uh, apart from that one uh, initial model that they've shown. And nothing really on how the game is going to be launching, on when it's going to be launching and kind of how it's going to be launching. So still a lot of new things to be shown and to be revealed. Um, so kind of makes me think that this is definitely not going to be coming out this year and that Warhammer The Old World will probably be coming out at some point next year. Um, if it was coming out this year, we would have probably seen something substantial here, but they haven't. So yeah. So that's the old world. Um, pretty cool. It's a nice sculpt. Can see it being um, probably featuring a lot in the Golden Demons. So yeah, cool. Just not enough. Okay, so next up is some Warhammer Underworlds. And this is like a new box set. I believe this is a new season. Um, and it's basically going to be new Deepkin versus some crazy Slanesh models. And the Slash models are pretty nuts. Um, this one is pretty nice. I, I kind of like it. I really like that. I'm, I'm hoping that this isn't freehand and this is actual detail on the model. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. It kind of fits in with that lovely weird Slanesh vibe that we've got. Lots of tentacles, lots of claws. Uh, I really like the sort of purple tint that they do on the, uh, the metallics. I've always been a big fan of that. And this is just a crazy demon assassin looking model so yeah this warband pretty cool um now the deepkin uh yeah more deepkin um interesting so is it i think this is a tide caster or at least an alternative tide caster which is kind of cool um another probably the highlight of the show which is a fighty uh, octopus kind of cool um this is an interesting looking thrall because this is this this sort of armor around the neck is is different, um, and this is kind of different as well. So hopefully, this is maybe a hint at a potential new sort of unit thrall unit for the Deepkin that are hopefully a little bit more armored compared to their their current um, unit. So that would be kind of nice. But yeah, this is um, pretty much what you're going to expect. Um, for the uh, for Warhammer Underworlds, it's a, a new box with two new warbands, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, next, okay, Warcry, uh, cool, Warcry is something that I didn't really predict on anything because you never really can. Um, but this is a box that I definitely want because not only do you get some pretty cool gorges if you were going to do a more tribe army. This would be really, really cool. I really like these. But you get um, a unit for Cities of Sigma. Uh, and as a new Cities of Sigma player, I'm, I'm definitely going to be getting these. But the new gorges look so cool. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really digging these. And I'm really hoping that they get like a proper box um, for 
Age of Sigma with the Orgrimmar tribes because these are pretty savage looking. Uh, I'm going to be getting this box obviously because I need the Cities of Sigma unit. Um, but I'm probably going to paint these guys up as well because they are pretty savage and brutal looking. Really like them. So the Cities of Sigma, we've seen these before and I went over in a previous video their War Scroll. Um, they're really good. They're the Hunters of the Wild, I believe. Um, and they're they're pretty they're a pretty nice unit. The Wild Corp Hunters. Um, so I like this guy. I like the aesthetics that we've got with the Cities of Sigma. Um, and some of these models are really fantastic. Like this guy kneeling down here is so cool with his big ass sword. And you get four doggies, five doggies if you include the one with the unit champion. Um, but yeah, like absolutely quality uh, unit. And you get this really cool piece of terrain piece with it's got like a little mini more in it, which is even better. Um, so yeah, uh, Hunted and the Hunted definitely will be picking that up so I can get the Cities of Sigma Warband. But pretty much cool. Really like that one. Um, quality. Okay, Blood Bowl. And what did I say? I hope we see vampires. And here they are. Vampires are coming to Blood Bowl. And these are amazing. I will 100% be getting these. And will 100% be playing Blood Bowl uh, with these. I've been looking forward to these uh, since I was kind of sort of given the heads up that they were coming and uh, yeah these are so good uh i love them they're, they're, they're i really love the aesthetics like this the sort of interview with a vampire type stuff on the on the guys in the background and the, and the vampires have got that classic armored vampire look that we get from age of sigma so i kind of like that this guy's been bit on the arm and being fed on he's being fed on his shoulder and stuff it's pretty cool uh like that's just got that dracula pose uh yeah really loving it really really loving it um i like this guy holding the bat he's like yeah hey, i've got the bat and uh, she's really cool uh and then you get these two guys here which are sort of going to be like your blitzery guys by the looks of it so yeah really 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 um loving this and their little balls and their, their little balls oops their little ball tokens and this sort of um the the uh, coffin as well for their marker is is really good. So all in all, really really happy with these. Uh, looking forward to getting them and painting them up, uh, and maybe getting a couple of games of Blood Bowl in again. It's been a while since I played. Um, so yeah, really really happy with that. Here's the vampires. Okay, so kicking off Age of Sigmar is something that I didn't even know was coming, but is very very cool. And this model is amazing. And this is the the king of trogs um this model is insanely good like look at this he's a he's a big boy he's a big boy a really big boy and just so good i, I really like it um so yeah like the detail on him i can i can kind of imagine that this model is going to be seen a lot at golden demons it's definitely one of those models that when you see the previews you're like definitely going to be a golden demon mini and i definitely think that's going to be the case um this is obviously in the new book two of the dawnbringers campaign series reign of the brute uh which is really cool and there's a lot more involved in this not just this big boy um but yeah it, it's probably gonna you know have rules and stuff for for your trog army so if you're a trog trog fan well, you've now got a really big dank troll and he's the king of all the trolls. Uh, I kind of like the guy because he's a troll and I do love my trolls. So, yeah, it would be a pretty interesting painting project and I can I can honestly see this being used a lot in, uh, in Golden Demon. So, yeah, big thumbs up from me. But what else do we have for Age of Sigma? Oh, look, an avalanche of iron jaws. So, uh, another thing I predicted in my prediction video... Um, Iron Jaws, which we kind of already kind of been were hinted at. Um, they they shown um, the the Ard Boy uh, boss off um, beforehand, but we've got this character here which I really like. I like this molten sword, very World of Warcraft, and obviously they shown they previewed the Squig off, but he's kind of cool, and he has a couple of options as well. He has these tongs, which are really really nice. Pardon me. And then you've got the Brute Rages, which are essentially the Brute Berserkers, I said. 
Um, they're kind of cool. They're uh, they're they're probably going to be really hard hitting, um, and we, we've kind of seen these brutes before. They were in the Warhammer Underworlds warband, and I think you've got one of these guys, and he's like no arm, and he's all stripped down, and he's kind of sort of doing the pose from the guy in the middle. And then there's a couple of other ones as well. So it's kind of a little bit of a nod to what was coming. And that was quite a while ago, but pretty cool. And then there's these guys, which are like even weirder armoured version of them with massive, big, huge morning stars, which kind of look cool. Um, yeah, kind of like these. Uh, the Weird Brute Wreckers. Uh, is this an army that's probably going to pull me back to, to doing Iron Jaws? Potentially, I was always a big fan of Iron Jaws, and they definitely do fit my playstyle, but we'll see, um, definitely. And obviously, the Ard Boys, uh, we kind of knew that these were coming. Um, they they shown a hero for them, and now we've got this unit. And they've kind of been Age of Sigmar'd up, which means that the Black Orcs can go back to the Old World. And that seems to be sort of a thing that's going to be a thing now for Age of Sigmar, where a lot of the old Warhammer Fantasy ranges will go back to the old world and Age of Sigma will get their own version for their army. So Skaven, Dark Elves and stuff like that. Expect to see them being updated um, at some point in the very near future. But these look really, really nice. I like these. Um, they are really, really nice. They're, they've kind of got that brute aesthetic, um, but they've sort of like captured that hard boy sort of look with the sort of tusk masks and the big shield so yeah really impressive really love this guy's mask up here um really like them they're they're pretty solid pretty solid unit but that's not all uh these guys are gonna be in the campaign book that i shown just previously with the trog but games workshop are also going to be releasing a free downloadable supplement for the angels which will have all of the rules for the new um the new units that are coming and this is we've got to remember that this isn't the only thing that these again there is the really big crazy big pig that they shown at a previous um up uh, preview as well so you've got the really big pig you've got the two units of sort of crazy brutes and then you've got the hard boys and then a couple of characters so pretty substantial release for the Iron Jaws. And as an Iron Jaws fan, um, I'm, 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 I'm up for that. Is it going to make me do Iron Jaws again? Who knows? Maybe in the future. Um, maybe. But right now, sticking to Age of Cities of Sigma. Okay, we're moving into the Warhammer 40k universe. And we're going to kick off with the Horus Heresy. And as predicted... This is pretty much exactly what I said we were going to be getting. Um, there's the new Dorado Dreadnought in plastic. Completely. We already knew this was coming because at Warhammer Fest they shown us that picture with the Marines, the Land Raider and the Dreadnought in the background. And it's it's a really nice. It's exactly what you expect. It, it looks pretty much like the resin version. There's a, like, a little bit more detail on the, the sort of carapace, which I imagine there's going to be multiple of. Probably at least three. A plain one, an imperial one, and a, a trader version. This is obviously the trader version. Um, you can't really see that imperial fist one, but I imagine that that imperial fist one will have some form of loyalist element on it. Uh, it's also going to have that on the knee as well. So that you've got some nice options to customize your dread or dreadnought. Um, that's not all. We now have the new Mark III update. I quite like these now on a quick note they do use the upgrade frame and i will just get this out now they do use this upgrade frame um from the mark 6 kit um and you can see that by the plasma pistol that this model is holding and the um the power fist and later on you've got the vexilla which is the same one from that box from that frame and also the this head here and i believe this head um as well and this box part as well for the rear the the backpack so, but 
all in all, I like these. They're pretty cool. And also the accessories with the pouches, that also comes from that frame as well. So it's a really cool kit. I quite like it. Um, am I going to get some? Probably. Uh, so yeah, I quite like it. Uh, they, they do show some nice painted examples. Um, the Iron Warriors looks amazing. The Ultramarines looks pretty cool. Not a fan of the Space Wolves, but then I'm not a big fan of the Space Wolf colour scheme for 30k. And the Thousand Suns looks pretty cool as well, but yeah okay maybe a little bit too much red uh, gold i would probably pull that trim back a little bit but all in all quite like that but this is going to be released in a big box um and that is going to include 30 of these new marines a land raider proteus and the dread or dreadnought as well as um special weapons so that'll be 10 volkite 10 melter 10 plasma and 10 flamer so basically the special weapons upgrade box that you can currently get they're cutting that in half and giving you half of that box content so normally you would buy 20 of them in a box you're getting 10 at the, enough for 10 guys in this which is still pretty good because you've got on 30 marines now just on a quick note two of these boxes will pro will be enough to build a pretty solid army you're just going to need to add you some praetors and consoles and and maybe a couple of elite units but you've pretty much got a solid army there um so yeah that's that's a really good box price wise i'm gonna say this is probably gonna retail around about 120 pounds but i'm pretty sure that once that gets confirmed we'll know but and i would say that it's probably going to be on pre-order pretty soon because the mark three plastic kit um, the old one that come out with the um, Burning of Prospero box originally has been removed from the Games Workshop website, which means that this is definitely coming soon. And I would be highly surprised that if this is probably what has been moved in place of the Epic um, Imperialis game that's been delayed. So I imagine that this has been moved forward to fill that gap in the release window. Um, so yeah pretty pretty impressed pretty cool kind of like it i expect this to be on pre-order within the next couple of weeks okay so into the 41st millennium and doing the space wings so the space wings have finally been shown off and we finally get to see them and there is a lot so there's the new space marine codex um it's going to come in at a 93 data sheet so 93 units which is a slim down somewhat from the index uh, it's going to have seven detachments each with their own enhancement strategies and detachment rules uh really interested to see what each of those detachments are going to be and how the and how the army as a whole is going to play um i can't i'm not a fan of the front cover i believe this was the same artwork that was on the 8.5 codex that come out in 8th edition um but it was like he was like slightly smaller they've kind of zoomed it in on him not really yeah i'm not a big fan of that but hey it is what it is um it's still it's still a new codex and uh, that's good um so there's all the space marines in all of their glory uh and this is the first of the new things that we're getting so as predicted uh the new command squad company of heroes squad that we're getting which includes a new captain a standard bearer which is really nice that standard bearer is really good i like that uh, a new company champion which is similar to the event model the event model is kind of holding his sword like this um which i really really like a heavy bolter guy and a veteran missing who's got a bionic arm which is cool to see so also just as a quick one if you are a ultramarines fourth company fanboy you now have Pasadianius the big friend of Uriel Ventress with the Necron bionic arm he's there that's pretty cool I like that so yep take the captain out put Uriel Ventress in and you've pretty much got a really really cool thematic fourth company command squad uh but that's not all obviously the the captain is going to be in some pretty cool different parts um uh, and nice little different sort of piece, bits and pieces on him which is really quite nice to see hopefully they're not going to get rid of the current power armor um captain and that they're going to keep the two so you'll be able to mix and match 
with the parts because that would be really cool. But that's not all. This, for me, is the highlight of the preview. Why? Because it's official. Back banners of Back Baby. Yeah. I actually managed to source myself 10 of them today. So I'm going to be putting them onto my Primaris uh, Howling Griffins army. Which means that this guy's little thing on the top of his backpack is getting cut off. And I'm going to be putting a back banner in place for that. Um, so, but yeah. Just because of this cool guy. But look at that. So the, the Stern Guard are getting a multi-part kit. Uh, and with a back banner which is cool so you know pretty much looking like the the ones that we um we got in the leviathan box um yeah they're they're stern guard they're gonna be awesome everyone's gonna want them um and they're really cool so the uh they've got a full the full range of, of customizable options and stuff so that's really cool and i really like the sort of little ones that they've shown here in the painting now if anyone has checked out my instagram page i actually show some artwork of a crimson fist that this instantly reminded me of and it's it's kind of an in, a crimson fist walking with a big red fist and this pistol uh, and this guy instantly reminded me of that artwork and i think they captured it that perfectly I, and i'm not too sure if they've intentionally done that um and if they didn't then that is kudos to them but if they did mwah, perfect the blood angel very cool but that's not all for the space marines there is more and that is the space marine scouts so yep yeah, as predicted space marine scouts are coming uh not in a kit not they all seem to be coming in a kill team box which is interesting um i like them they are exactly like i expected them to be very similar to the neophytes in the black templars uh, crusader squad surprise surprise uh you seem to get quite a lot of nice um weapon options so you've got like a sergeant here i like the grizzled veteran beard which is pretty much what he would be uh chainsaw uh bull pistol uh shotguns uh close combat weapons bolt guns um uh, now the one thing that i there isn't seem to be is a sniper rifle or is there so the squad has been a, a part of the law for a while um, so you'll get a choice of bolt guns, shotguns, pistols, and close combat weapons um, for each of the rank and file, and plenty of accessories, heads, and trim. There is this weird sort. Oh, no, there is the sniper rifle here, and a missile launcher, and a heavy bolter, which is kind of cool, and a and a camo cloak. I'm hoping that the camo cloaks are given to all five of them, uh, and not just um, not just one. So. Uh, those with a sneaky heavier firepower on the battlefield will find options for gunners lugging missile launchers or a heavy bolter as well as a cloak sniper mm, it's a shame I, I would really it would have been really cool if they could have all had sniper rifles um but i really like that new sniper rifle that is a really cool looking design um i could get my head around that and the missile launcher being pretty much old school looking well current sort of like anything from second edition onwards um i kind of like that too i'm kind of digging that sort of that classic looking um heavy bolter uh missile launcher and the heavy bolter is is also reminiscent to the old metal guy as well so yeah pretty pretty cool we'll probably be getting a handful of scouts for my, my howling griffin's army uh like those but that's not all it is indeed not all we are going to be seeing some terminators and completely as expected and predicted we will see multi-part terminators now the one thing that is missing from this preview is a salt terminators um we only seem to have a multi-part kit for um the shooty version not the um not the assault terminators now apparently that is they're hanging around and they're not coming out yet but i will pretty much put money on it that there is a salt marine version um, at least the salt marine terminator kit coming uh, at some point in the future and i would also imagine that there is another vanguard um unit coming in the future as well um but up until then we are pretty much stuck with two terminators at a different scale but i would imagine that that's not going to be for long uh 
yep, they come with all the options that you would expect them to, but this time we get the Cyclone Missile Launcher, which is really kind of cool. Uh, really loving the new heads. Um, yep, absolutely love the new Terminators. Um, we're, uh, as a community here in Northern Ireland, there's a couple of us that are playing Horus Heresy are really interested in the Badab War, and we're going to be doing Project Badab. Uh, there will be a video coming um, very soon about that and how and what I will be doing for that project. But my, I personally will be doing a Badab themed army, and it's going to be an entire Terminator army, obviously using the new Terminators. Um, so to go with that, I'm going to have a chaplain. I will also have a chaplain in my Howling Griffins. So, but we're going to get a chaplain here. So this chaplain comes obviously with a Storm Boulder and he also has the Relic Shield, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, I really like the sort of little nod to the rules here. So armed with the Crackling Crozius, Inspiring Litanies and a Storm Boulder or a Relic Shield, he adds plus adds one to your squad's wound rolls in melee. Nice. And on top of granting them Feel No Pain 4 plus against Mortal Wounds. That is solid. Seriously solid. So... Yeah, really, really like that. He'll probably only be able to join Terminator units though, but Terminator Heavy Armies, now I'm getting a Chaplain. And that's not all. We're also getting the Terminator Captain. Now, this is a little bit of a thing. There, It's essentially the similar model to the one that come in the Leviathan box, which is currently in the starter sets. I think the middle the 65 pound starter set and the ultimate starter set which is like 120 pounds um he comes in that with the terminators from the leviathan box now that model has a cloak a cape um pretty cool and you the head is easily swapped out but it's essentially the same model this one doesn't but he does have the option to remove the loincloth and sort of change the frontal armor as we see here and he has a uh, various weapon options, but he's kind of just a Terminator um, with a fancy sword um, without the cloak. So I personally, I like it, but I kind of prefer the other one that was in the Leviathan box. And that's the one I'm going to personally try to get hold of for my Howling Griffins. Um, for the Badab War project, I'll probably use this guy to lead my... Terminator Force in the Bad War. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. And there is more Space Marines. Okay, so finishing off the Space Marines, we have this. Um, the new Intercessors or the new Assault Intercessors um, are basically coming. And these are basically a five-man kit of essentially Assault Marines that are Primaris. So... As you can see, they're they're here. Um, I I like them. I'm I'm really digging them. I'm really glad they don't have flight stands. So glad they don't have flight stands. I know they they're standing on these little tactical rocks, but I'm so glad they don't have flight stands. Uh, flight stands would have made me sad. But these are really cool. Uh, I like the fact that they've got a couple of little trinkets in there now. Um, these sort of little embellishments. Uh, yeah, big fan of these. Will definitely be wanting at least two 10-man squads for my Howling Griffins. Uh, because, you know, Space Marine Company, um, which would be really cool. But that's not all. Uh, they're painted, obviously, in this nice little um, other close games. Uh, Riven Guard and Blood Angels. Um, but we also get this guy, which is a jump um, captain. Now... There has been a lot of things on the internet today about this model uh, and regarding the fact that he has a cape and a jump pack and how that it would would that not just catch on fire and all that. Like, who cares? Who cares? It's a cool looking model. Um, you're either going to love it or hate it with, because he's coming off the rock with the tactical rock. But it's a cool looking model and even this version with the power fist and the hand flamer and the different head is still a cool looking model. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's what it is. It's, it's a new captain model for jump infantry. So this is all, this is going to be your character that you're going to be able to put into your assault squads. Um, yeah, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. 
uh, I will probably get him um, for the Howling Griffins. Um, so yeah, definitely. All in all, pretty pretty happy with the marine element. But that isn't. So one of the biggest surprises out of all of the of the live stream was this, and this is how Games Workshop ended the live stream. The Primark for the Horus Heresy. That is it. It is Vulcan. Vulcan? It, <laughs> it's not Vulcan. It's Fulgrim. This is Fulgrim Ascended. Uh, this is a resin model for the Horus Heresy, who doesn't currently have rules, which means there's probably a campaign book with said rules. Um, now, he was one of the first Primarchs to move to Demonhood. I definitely think he moved to Demonhood before Angron, um, which is kind of cool. This is a really cool model. Now, just as a quick note, this is for the Horus Heresy. This is not for Warhammer 40k. Warhammer 40k will be getting Codex Empress Children. There will be a plastic Fulgrim. There will be all of what you expect from a release in 40k in 10th edition for the Empress Children. This model is for the Horus Heresy and this is him ascended. So essentially this is Fulgrim moving into demonhood. So if you've read the book Exterminatus with the um, the Empress Children and the Iron Warriors, this is essentially what he turned into at that point. By the time the Empress Children come out for 10th edition, that's like 10,000 years into the future and that's like 10,000 year old um fulgrim as a 10,000 year demon prince so that model is probably going to be very very different to what this is but this is a resin kit that's going to be a plastic kit this is for 30k that's going to be for 40k does this mean that we're going to see demon primarch models for the likes of angron motorian logar and Magnus the Red, because those guys were all demons at the Siege of Terror. Interesting, um, exciting. I uh, yeah, that like this model is is one. It's beautiful straight away. Um, like the face on this model is insanely good, um, and it's really really nice. And I've been talking about Fulgrim coming for a long time. Um, Never expected him to come out for 30k. I fully expected him to be out for uh, for 40k. But this is a really, really nice little touch. I like the horns. I like the face. The armor. It is a beautiful model. Um, this model is 100% going to be seen a lot at Golden Demons. Um, yeah, I personally would love to get this model to paint it. It is beautiful. But then a lot of the... But even Horus Ascended is a really, really good sculpt. So it's pretty cool. Um, completely sidewinded. A lot of people expected Khan on his jet bike or Dawn or even Logar. Uh, and instead we got Fulgrim, uh, which is like, wow. So yeah, really, 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 really cool with that. And uh, yeah, that's how they finished the stream. Literally mic drop. Uh, touche Games Workshop. Touche. So that's that's the preview. That's the previews done. That's Nova 2023. Mind blowing. Some really really cool stuff. And a lot of my predictions were bang on point. Um, I'm really impressed. The new Space Marine stuff, I think, is really good. I really really like the um, the scouts. I love the multi part Terminators. Although the Leviathan Terminators would still work. You know, there's you know you're gonna get a couple of options in there. Uh, the new captain, really nice. The chaplain, very, very nice. Um, all in all, the space marine element that's coming for 10th edition, I like it. But there feels as though there's things missing. So there's obviously going to be more space marines um, for ten in 10th edition at a later stage. I would imagine that there's probably going to be a Brutalis type box in the future with the assault marine the assault marines or the vanguard veterans and the assault terminators in there 
um, and maybe a captain with more assault weapons, uh, maybe. Uh, so I would imagine that's probably going to be a thing. The Horus Heresy, big thumbs up. Really love the, the Mark III. Uh, the Dread or Dreadnought is pretty cool. Uh, and Fulgrim. Oh, uh, I have to now resist not wanting to change legions to the Empress Children. Uh, and sticking with the uh, the Sons of Vulcan. Or maybe do both. Um, but yeah, the Age of Sigma stuff, quality, you know, cool. Really glad that the Iron Jaws are getting some love. And uh, the, the other smaller systems such as Warcry and Warhammer Underworlds. Really nice models. And they would be really cool little painting projects on their own, right? I will be definitely getting the Warcry box because I need that, that unit for my the Sigma army. And the gorges just look great and they just look like they're going to be really fun to pin. So all in all, I am very impressed with this preview. It is a better than some previews we've had previously. Um, I feel a little bit mm, about the old world. I think maybe they could show a little bit more. But I kind of think that they're not because they're still quite a way out with it. Um, I'm actually surprised that there was nothing shown for the epic uh, Imperialis game at all. Um, very surprised with that. Uh, maybe that's be we'll see a lot more once that is out, uh, after it's been delayed and that that's out properly. But all in all, really happy with this. Uh, so really cool. Um, yeah, thanks for everybody for watching. If you like what I do, hit the like button, drop a comment and let me know what you think. And please subscribe. We are over 2,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Uh, and we're still growing and we're still getting big. So, yeah, there's still 70% of everybody out there is, is that is watching still hasn't subscribed. So, if you 70% hit that subscribe, subscribe button, then my channel gets even bigger. So, thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.